Welcome back to Sunday League Football, where some games are being uploaded before others. We're all over the show at the moment, but for some context, do you remember this? Finish! Yes! yes! Well, then there was this. Yes! 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 Oh, and absolutely don't forget about this. <laughs> Which of course led to this. And four days later, here we are. A complete dead rubber in the league. And uh, we wasn't really going to turn up for this one because most of the team are absolutely screwed after the cup final. The result of this doesn't matter. The league's done, isn't it? Let's cast our man back a little bit further to the semi-final that took us to that final. You may remember it was a straight red for Webby, wasn't it? After this challenge here. They never looked good slowed down, but a three-game ban followed this, which meant Webby missed a quarter-final in the Ken Robinson Cup. Obviously, the senior division cup final that we won. And then we got this one. This will be his third game, but it might not have been. As I say, it was touch and go whether he was actually going to show up. We haven't got many players, and uh, the ones that have shown up aren't very fit. Had we not shown up, the game would have been given to our opponents, but the key thing is it wouldn't have been one of Webby's three games. That would have crossed over to the next game, which is an important semi-final. So we've done well to club together for Webby today. And talking of our opponents, this is them. It's Gardner's FC. We've uh, we faced them earlier on the season. Lost. Currently bottom of the league. One of their only games that they've won this year. Now the only team in Brentwood that we faced that we haven't beat this year. So it'd be nice to chalk that one off. Quick reminder of the table. Not that it means anything. But uh, back in December, I said if we manage to end up third, it will be a very, very good second half to the season. And we've done that. Completely unbeaten. Silverware to add to it. So uh, yeah, we're happy. Not too happy about being dragged out today. But look, needs must. This one's for Webby. Should we find out a team? Let's find out a team. No goalkeepers available. So good job we got Tomo. He's in between the sticks. These four have been roped in at the back. It's Josh Knowles. It's new signing Nick. It's Elliot and Budney. Into the midfield. It's a Henner. It's a big Josh, and we've got Henna's mate Lawrence, who uh, got roped into an Essex Cup game when we was in a similar position to today. And joining them in midfield, we've got a Kev. Finally, we've got the two up top. It's Callum Palmer and it's Lewis on the bench. Two available. Would you believe it? We've got a Nolze and we have a Shane. So with that said, let's see how this makeshift squad gets on today. It's the final league game. Let's go. So no action to show you, but one minute into this, uh, Elliot's calf's done. So those two subs that we had, uh, it's now down to one. Elliot off, and it's uh, Nolsey that's going to put the number eight shirt on. Don't think he's going to go centre back though. So more rejigging for Tomo in between the sticks today. Let's give you some action. I found it really hard to uh, say the numbers on these shirts last time round. Yellow on white with the sun shining. It's not easy to see all the time, but uh, this is the number two that's going to send this ball into the box. And there you go, commanding from Tomo there. Seven minutes in, no action from us, but uh, Gardner's come forward again here. Fortunate with that clearance. This lad's one on one with Tomo. Uh Probably should have scored that, but here they come again. Nuts. It's all too easy for him at the moment. We're not really showing anything in this game as 19 puts it forward to. Don't know what number this is. It's, uh, I can't see. Rather than looking to slot it past Tomo, he's gone across goal, but nobody's able to get it down and uh, get a shot on target. This is why we're bottom. Great analysis there as uh, Nolsey comes forward over the halfway line. He looks up, spots Kev with his uh, back to goal here. Nice little flick onto Callum Palmer on the overlap. Defender comes in there. That goes out for the corner. Huge turnout today, as you can see, for the final game of the season. And a huge turnout for this. One, two, and there you have it. We take the lead with our first chance of the game. Good corner from Callum Palmer there on the end of it. Simple header past the keeper from Budney. It's 1 0 to the Palmer's FC. And so, kick off. After seeing Budney's head in the billy, maybe he should have headed this. Drop a like for Nolsey and drop a like for this ball because it was absolutely beautiful. It wasn't good because no one got on the end of it. Well, that's on Lewis. He should have been bombing in there. I want diving headers. So after going 1-0 down in this one, uh, Gardner certainly haven't dropped their heads. They're looking to come forward once more here as uh, Henners clears it out to this near side. Nolsey's going to look to get onto it, but um, I still don't know what number this is. If we go by the shorts, he's number nine. He's busting those crazy legs out here as he's made space for himself. Hits the byline, puts it across goal. Shot let him down there. Anyway, up the other end. We can't really see much, so uh, Charlotte's taking matters into her own hands. We're, uh, we're getting even closer to the action. That's what we do here at Palmer's FC. But despite that, we still don't get to see everything down the line, and uh, that's also what we do at Palmer's FC. But it's Carl Palmer throwing this ball into the box. He bounces off of someone's head towards the edge of the box there. It comes out to Henners, who gets too much on it. Kev's in an offside position, taken out by the goalkeeper. It's going to be a free kick to our opponents, but um, Kev is not happy. Kev! <laughs> But a talking was had, and that's all it was. Just a conversation. No yellow cards, no red cards. Just we crack on with the game. That's where we find ourselves down the other end here as this uh, throw goes into the box. It's nodded on. Overhead kick. Kimbo slice from New Sign and Nick. Out to the two. Yeah! 
Yeah, I probably wouldn't celebrate like that. Would have been much better. Would have like run up to the camera and stuff. Still got time and also, uh, let's wait and see. Yep, yeah, didn't really deal with this at all, did we? Throwing came in. Big Josh, I guess, out. Josh there. Very rare we say that. Overhead kick, nothing came of it. There was the opportunity to clear, but uh, we didn't. Out it fell to the number two who uh, sent that into the back of the net and uh, it's one all. Okay, kick off. You guys know how I feel about number twos and there's nothing better than a number two doing well. I say doing well, enjoying themselves, getting involved. Zabaleta here, after his goal, might be getting a bit too excited. See ya. But no, happy for him getting involved. A lot of right backs can shy away from games, but here he is again as he breaks into the box here. Could he get another? Oh, oh. Oh. Nothing but net. Side net, that is, as uh, Budney throws this one forward. And I've got to say, guys, uh, these videos do really well in sort of packaging the best bits of the game to make it seem a lot better than it actually was. But uh, this game was absolutely shocking. I've, I've got to admit, very, very scrappy. And uh, here is another passage of that as uh, the ball eventually falls to Callum Palmer. Finally, some quality on the ball. Oh, And you know what, I'm going to skip to half time because absolutely nothing happened after that. Ref, do us a favour, please. <laughs> Brilliant, thank you. Uh, do you want to subscribe? Yeah, of course you do. Hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be notified when a new video like this comes up. Hopefully, it's not that bad. Still got a second half, though. Plenty of time for it to improve. It's Palmer's FC versus Gardeners, and it's not live. Not live at all. Okay, so we start things off with an overhit ball. Lovely. Brilliant. Then we got this. Then, oh my god, Webby's arrived. He's arrived, he's here, he's watching the game. I think we can all agree, he's not missing much, is he? Look at that shambles in a dictionary, there's a picture of today's oh, game. Go, 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 go. Shambles, yes, got the title for this video, fantastic. But, uh, Calabama! Oh! Great oh! oh! hey, knock, Josh! Yeah, good knock, Josh. Another good knock, Josh, here as this one goes in, off the back of Callum Palmer's head, arrives with Nolsey at the back post, he's got a left peg. Oh! Jesus Christ, let's get the ball in the back of the net. Let's get a win today. Uh, good knock Josh here. Nice little turn there to uh, then hit the byline. It's going to be a good knock Josh into the box. It's Lawrence there. We haven't seen much of him, but the last touch comes off a defender, and I think that's going to be a corner. If you want to switch off now, you can. You, you really can. But if you have happened to stage, you're about to witness Tomo in action. A good little period for our opponents. These gardeners come forward again. Here they are on the edge of the box. Uh, looking to get the shot in there. That ain't going to affect anyone. But as it comes back here, on his right, gets the shot in. And uh, Tomo's there to wrap that one round the post. Then up the other end, it's our turn. Shane's on the field, by the way. Lewis is off. I think that's what was made at half time. But hey-ho, Callum Palmer with the shot. Keeper with the save. Kev there. But defender gets there ahead of him. Hennis is going to look to pick up in the box, which he does. Hits the byline, which he does. And looks to find Kev, which he does. And there you have it. I'm not going to say we totally deserve it or we've totally commanded this game, but we've taken the lead for the second time in the game, of course. And uh, on the end of it was a Kev straight past the keeper. And uh, yeah, it's 2-1 to the Palmers FC. What? Well, hang on. Well, there's no kickoff. That's caught me off guard. Anyway, Kev puts it through. Uh, Cal Palmer in his own half when it was played. And now he's in on goal, being chased down by the defender. He slides and it's a good tackle. Well done. Hennes has done well today. Been involved in a lot of the good that we've done going forward. Not that there's been much. He plays it to Kev. It gets back to him. Hennes keeps running, but the keeper's off the line and uh, gets that one clear. That one actually ran out for a corner, which knows he's going to take here. Budney near post, can't get his head on it after the uh, first half goal. And his gardeners now that are going to look to clear, but there's nothing really available for this lad, so he's uh, keeping onto the ball for now. Bad move because uh, Cal Palmer's got it off of him. Now he's going to look to take on the defender here. Does that, stays on his feet from the tackle. Good strike, but it's a save from the keeper with the feet. Score stays 2-1. Just nine minutes plus stoppage time between now and the end of our league season. Uh, new signing Nick going down there after that challenge from behind. Uh, looks a bit awkward. That's going to be the end of him for this game. So uh, going to be replaced by Lewis, who's back on the field, but I don't think he can do much either. Come on, Luke. Get him time. Little touch, Lou. Little touch, Lou. <laughs> We're basically playing with 10 men, maybe 9 men. A lot of them carrying knocks out there as uh, Budney clears this one. Just 10 seconds of normal time in this game as the defender heads this one out to the far side there. It's going to be hooked back into the box. On the end of it is the big man. From his head, it loops up. And on the end of it... We literally trickled over the 90th minute there. And, um, well... You, you saw it. You saw it. It couldn't have been an easier save for Tomo. It was straight at him. And for some reason, somehow, it's... I, I don't know. Word on the street, he was paid a little bit of money for that. I sense match fixing. I think we're going to have to get the FA involved in this one. So odd, though. So, so odd. But what I can confirm is it's 2-2 uh, now. And my friends, that is literally all I've got for you. Sunday League Football, eh? One minute you're lifting the Senior Division Cup and the next you're uh, drawing against bottom of the league and uh, letting a goal in in the 90th for it as well. Fair play to Garners, the only team that we didn't beat in the Senior Division.
and they came bottom. But hey-ho, depleted squad didn't really matter in the end, did it? Just here for the entertainment, and uh, even then it wasn't very entertaining. But hopefully next week will be. We've got the semi-final of the Ken Robinson Cup. Another chance to get to another final for some more silverware. It's against Bry United. Let's hope we're at the races that day. But until then, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.